long way from home, little kitty, but you'll like it here. He sure is a beautiful cat, huh, boss? Yeah, he's had a rough trip. Better put him in the big cage and give him some water, Pete. Right, boss. <laughs> Jojo! Jojo, do you want to get killed? Come back here! Jojo, get down from there! Jojo, get off of me, will you? You should be ashamed of yourself! Jojo, let's get out! What? Hey, boss! Joey, go block that entrance. We gotta keep in the main tent. You men get the net rigged up. Mel, get my rifle. Corky, get that chip out of here. Come on, Pete, follow me. Hey, Jojo! Come on! We gotta get out of here! Hey, mister, where can I find a Mr. Pete Mullen? He's inside. All right, boys, head him off. Good work, boys. Hey, that was lucky, huh? Yeah. Be nice to that cat, boys. He's had a rough afternoon. See that he gets a good meal tonight. And don't give Jojo no supper at all. Come on, fellas. Sure was touch and go there for a minute. Uh, hey, Pete, I got a telegram for you. For me? Who's it from? Who would ever telegram me? Best way to find out is to open it. Sure. Oh, fellas, uh, I forgot my glasses. I'll read it for you. Go ahead. It's from somebody named Jim McMartin. That's my cousin. What does he say? Dear Pete, Uncle Cyrus is on his way to pay you a visit. He wants to spend some of his few remaining days with his favorite nephew, the owner of the great Birkin Walsh Circus. Why, Pete, I don't remember selling you this circus. Of course not, boss. Where did I ever get the money to buy a circus? I wonder where Uncle Cyrus ever got an idea like that. I wonder now. Corky, are you sure you didn't put something in that letter that I didn't tell you to when you wrote to him on his birthday for me? Nope. You sure? Yep. Well, uh, guess I must have uh, told you to put it in there, huh? Yep. Well, you see, fellas, uh, I just wanted him to think that I was a success. He's my rich uncle, you know, and I wanted him to know that I was doing all right. Yeah, well, I guess you just got yourself into a big mess. Remember, I told you not to write that. Yeah, but I didn't know he was going to come here and find out. What are you going to do now, Pete? I'm going to pack my things and get before he gets here. Oh, wait a minute. What are we going to tell Uncle Cyrus if he gets here and you're not managing your own circus? Well, tell him I sold it to you. Tell him I gave it to you. Better yet, tell him I died and left it to you. Gee, the circus just isn't going to be the same without Pete. No, it won't. Think how poor old Uncle Cyrus is gonna feel, coming way up here and Pete gone. How do you think Pete's gonna feel? Oh, Pete'll be all right. He'll come drifting back as soon as Uncle Cyrus is gone. I don't know, Tim. Pete is a mighty sensitive soul. This could do something to that little teeny brain of his. You really think so, Joy? Yes, I do. You know, I never thought of it that way. Maybe we ought to do something about it. Like what? Like letting Pete own the circus, at least as long as Uncle Cyrus is here. Get those banners up. Come on, we haven't got all day. I want them all even this time. I don't want any sloppy banners around here. Come on, Red, pull it up there. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for the boss. Well, that's me, sir. I'm sorry. I'm a little busy right now. Come on, Red, pull it up there. Come, come, young man. I think I know my own nephew when I see him. Oh, you must be Uncle Cyrus. Cyrus McNaughton is my name. Well, oh, then you want the big boss, uh, Mr. Pete Mulligan. Correct. Well, uh, you'll find him right in that wagon, right over there. Thank you. Don't mention it. Peter, 
Uncle Cyrus. It's good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Here, let me take your bag. Thank you. Uh, no, no, I'll take care of this one. Peter, my boy, I'm delighted with your success. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, uh, let's go take a look at this organization of yours. Hmm? Oh, sure, sure. Morning, boss. Howdy, howdy. Oh. Hi, boss. Hello, Billy. Uh, want you to meet my Uncle Cyrus. Hi, Uncle Cyrus. How do you do, sir? Uh, I mean, young fellow. <laughs> Bessie. Yes, boss. I want you to meet my Uncle Cyrus. Uncle Cyrus, Bessie. Well, how do you... Uh... How are you, Uncle Cyrus? Well, how do you do, sir? I, uh, I mean, ma'am. Glad to know you. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Ma'am. Come on over here, Uncle Cyrus. Look over here, Uncle. That's what's called Risley. Well, well. Now over here. Over here is where we keep the horses. Oh, I... Hey, Joey, I wish you'd go uh, over to the... <clears throat> uh, come down here. Colors, uh, gentlemen, this is my Uncle Cyrus McNaughton. Uncle Cyrus, this is Joey. How, How do you do, do Joey? Yeah. And Corky. How do you do, Corky? This is Tim Champion. How do you do? Uh, yes, we've met but not been introduced. Uh, and what is your position with the circus? Oh, I, I'm the boss canvas man. Uh, that reminds me. There's a great big tear in the menagerie tent. Well, I better fix it before the show. Oh, never mind, boss. I'll take care of it. Huh? Sure, you're too busy. Besides, that's my job. Oh, that's right. Well, you do a good job now. Oh, I will, boss. <clears throat> well, <laughs> that's our boss, always trying to do all the work himself. No man can be a good executive until he's mastered every detail of the business he's connected with. Because you understand that principle, you are a success, my boy. Is that it? Precisely. Now, I'd like to look over your books. Books? I don't read much, Uncle Cyrus. No, I mean your account books. Now, it may seem presumptuous, nephew, but I am not motivated by idle curiosity, I assure you. Shall we go? Might as well. Court, you better get your elephant ready for the show. I gotta go see Big Tim. I beg your pardon. What is the latest stock quotation on the Midwest and Central Railway? I see you share my opinion of the stock. Thank you. <coughs> he's a smart monkey, Uncle. I mean, he's a smart monkey, Uncle. Well, let's go, Peter. Wait here a minute, Uncle Cyrus. Hey, boss. What? Would you stop calling me boss? Okay, boss. But Uncle Cyrus wants me to show him the books. How do I know. Go ahead and show them to him. But you know I can't read? Pete, these books don't have words. They have figures. Yeah, and I'm even worse at figures. I can't go on with this. It's wrecking my nervous system. What do you mean you can't go on with it? You want to disappoint your uncle? No, but, uh... Look, just stall your uncle about the books till after the show. Uh, I don't know. Now remember, Pete, as boss, you do everything Big Tim did. You got it? Yeah. And when your uncle sees you announcing the show, he'll be so proud of you, he'll forget all about the books. Hey, boss, I can't be ringmaster. I don't know how. Sure you do. You've seen me do it a thousand times, haven't you? Yeah. And it's your uncle we're trying to please, isn't it? Yeah. Well, all right, I'll do it. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Uncle. Oh, don't mind at all. Now, uh, shall we take a look at the books? Oh, later. Right now, I've got to get ready for the show. You mean you perform, too? Yeah, well, sort of. Uh, you see, I'm uh, sort of the ringmaster. An all-around man, I see. Well, Peter, my boy, I'm proud of you. Well, thanks. Right now, I've got to change clothes. I wonder what's keeping Pete. I don't know. Come on, Pete. Come on. Boss, he says he won't do it. Boss, I can't go out there. My knees are shaking. Well, put them together and get out there. You can do it. No, no, you don't. I There's can't your go out there. Ladies and 
Letterman. I, I, I mean, L Letterman and J.D. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> uh, at this time, uh, at this time, we uh, present. Uh... Oh boy, I better get him out of this. <laughs> uh, anyhow. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, what our buddy boss was trying to say is, we now present the Flying Calvito! Edith, you were very funny, my boy. I was? <laughs> yes. Oh, well, it's a pretty good gag, you know. Always good for a laugh. <laughs> and you got the right man for the job in Tim Champion. <laughs> very important to get the right man for the job. Keep your eye on Tim, nephew. He'll be a great help to you someday. Well, he is right now, Uncle. You know how much work it is to run this circus? I seem to recall. I used to do most of it. Yeah, but you didn't have my Uncle Cyrus on your tail. He's always with me. What do you do this for? What's that for? He's always asking questions. Well, give him the answers, Pete. But I don't know the answers. The last thing he wanted to know was our, our itinerary. Our what? He means itinerary. Yeah. Well, why didn't you give it to him? How could I give it to him? I don't even know what one looks like. Oh, Pete, look, itinerary is a list of towns on our route. Well, why didn't he say so? I thought it was some kind of an animal. I tell you, I'm quitting. Pete, you can't back out now. Your uncle's a nice old man. We'd like him. We're just doing this to keep him happy. But what if he finds out? He doesn't have to. It'll only be for a while longer. What about them books? He still asked me about them. All right, take it easy, Pete. I'll go over to White Wagon with you right now and explain everything. Well, much on. obliged, boss. Now, pay close attention, Pete. Mm -hmm. It's all very simple because we do a cash business. Mm -hmm. We take in cash for admissions, mm -hmm. and we pay it out in salaries and supplies. Mm -hmm. Even you should understand that. Should I? Uh-huh. But what if Uncle Cyrus asked me? If your uncle knows anything about books, you'll find everything right here. If you should get in a bind, come and ask me. You can always tell him I help you with the books. Check with me on everything. Well, thanks, boss. I will. Hello, Uncle Cyrus. Oh, good morning, Mr. McNaughton. Good morning, Tim. I'll go check those new guy ropes, boss, and if you need any more help with the books, just let me know. Thanks. Uh, all right. Run along. Of course, you do no such thing, nephew. Never let an employee look at your books. All right, if you say so, Uncle. You haven't totaled these last two pages. Haven't I? Five, six, 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 nine, six, 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 seven, six, 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 seven, six, six, there, would you like to check my figures? Oh, no, no, I'll check it later. Is this where I find the head man? Right there. <clears throat> my name is Fuller. I'm with the county. Came to see about your county tax. Got to pay it, you know. How much? It's one half of one percent of your gross income with deductions allowable for the first two hundred dollars. If you can prove ad valorem, purchase within the county for said amount. Now, alternately, you can be assessed a, a per capita tax. If your tickets are numbered serially and if you can produce substantial evidence to substantiate such pro forma. That much? No. Uh -huh. Yeah. <clears throat> well, um, you wait right here. I gotta see a man about a horse. Do you have a copy of this ordinance with you? Oh, yeah, yes, yes, I have. Right here. Right here. Always carry it with me. Right here. Right there. Section four. But you'll have to handle this tax man yourself. I can't even understand what the guy's talking about. Pete, just keep cool. We'll tell Uncle Cyrus that I handle permits and licenses and things like that for you. This is the guy. There's nothing to worry about at all. The old gentleman in there just read the ordinance and showed me where the tax doesn't apply in your case, and I'm sorry to have troubled you. <laughs> Don't mention it. So, um, you wouldn't have a couple of passes, would you? Oh, sure. <laughs> Thanks. Like I told you, Pete, all you've got to do is keep cool. 
seat in your wagon? Yeah, why? Well, if you must know, I'm going to ask him about my wagon. Now, listen, Zelda, we've been all through this before. I'm not going to redecorate your wagon. But Pete's the boss now, isn't he? And maybe he will. And you wouldn't let Pete down in front of Uncle Five, would you? All right, what are you sitting up for? Get to work! Joey, I've got to talk to you. There's been a new development. What is it? Oh, that Zelda's lowering the boom on me, taking advantage of the situation so she can have that wagon of hers redecorated. Boy, if she gets away with that, they're liable to all want it. I know. Have you got any ideas? Yeah, I'm going to suggest to Pete that this is the time to take his vacation so he can spend it with his uncle up in the mountains someplace. Hey, you know that might be an idea. He might be glad to get out from the strain of all of it then. Maybe Zelda didn't do so good. What did he do to you? He made me see the light. Who, Pete? No. Uncle Cyrus. He made me realize how... how selfish I was. He made me realize how... How happy I've been in my pretty little wagon. Well, don't you worry, Zelda. I'll paint your wagon myself. Don't you dare touch it. He's the nicest old man. You handled your business with remarkable efficiency, Peter, and your kind to employees. But it was all you, Uncle Cyrus. And you have the grace to listen to an old man's advice. I'm going to do something for you. Open it. Money? Where'd you get all this money? I always made lots of money. This is your share. I just wanted to feel sure that you were fit to handle it before I gave it to you. That's why I came here. Gee, thanks, Uncle Cyrus. But you shouldn't carry all this money around with you. Oh, I have lots more. At home. Don't you put it in the bank? No, why should I? I've got more money than they have. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for my afternoon walk. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Now's a good time to suggest it to him. Hi, fellas. Hi, Pete. Pete. Come here. Sit down. Why should I? We want to talk to you. What about? Uh, Pete, uh, Tim and I were just thinking it's been a long time since you've had a vacation. Ooh, what about it? Well, nothing much, but you were saying yourself that this work is getting you down. A vacation is the way out. And you could take Uncle Cyrus with you. You're just trying to get rid of me. Well, Pete, what's got into you? Nothing. I ain't taking no vacation. I'm running this show and doing a good job of it. You're just jealous, that's what it is. Jealous? Is this a thanks I get? Pete, are you sick or something? I'm sure I'm not sick or something. But I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy this little circus. Oh? You're gonna buy this little circus, huh? Yep. Expect me to take your check? No, I don't expect you to take my check. I hate to interrupt such uh, serious business. I'm Jim McNaughton. Can you tell me where to find Peter Mulligan? Sure, I'll take you to him. Come on, Jim. Come on. So you think I'm kidding, huh? Yeah, I think you're kidding, huh? Take a look. He's not kidding. All right, Tim, how much do you want for the circus? It's not for sale. Then I'll buy my own circus. I quit. You can't quit. You're fired. You can't fire me. I just quit. Hey, now, fellas, fellas. Oh, no. oh, now, Pete. Pete! Jim! It's good to see you. It's been many years, but I know you anywhere. Well, I want you to meet Joey the Clown. How'd he do? Joey? And this is Tim Champion, my former boss. 
Well, Pete, I thought it was about time to pick up Father. I hope he hasn't caused too much trouble. Trouble? I should say not. I'm glad. Father's eccentric and sometimes has funny ideas. Oh, and when a poor man has funny ideas, they call him crazy. But when a rich man has them, he's just eccentric. Did Father tell you he was rich? He didn't tell me. He showed me. My money, my money! Jojo, let go of my money! Stop it, stop it, Don't Jojo. worry about it. There's plenty more where that came from. What do you mean? <laughs> Evidently, you didn't look at the picture on those bills. It's Uncle Cyrus's picture. I'm sorry, Pete. I thought you knew Father's been making his own money for years. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Pete, but I just couldn't help it. <laughs> Someday you'll know how funny this is. Never. I guess I should have brought you up to date, Pete. You see, Father was quite rich at one time and lost everything. And the shock, I suppose, affected his mind. He has no money, so he makes his own. But he doesn't try to spend it, he just gives it away. It was mighty good of you to come and visit me, Uncle Cyrus. Ready to go, Father? Yes, uh, there isn't much more I can do around here. Uh, goodbye. Uh, Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Nephew, if you need anything, just let me know. Yes, sir. Now, you take care of yourself. I sure will. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye, Uncle Cyrus. Bye, Uncle Cyrus. Goodbye. Goodbye, Corky. So long, Cy. Goodbye. Goodbye, Uncle Cyrus. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Get up. Like well, don't be sorry about it, Cork. Sudden riches have ruined more men than sudden poverty. Yeah, that's what I got plenty of, sudden poverty. Hey, boss, couldn't we put somebody else's picture on that money and spend it? Yeah. And spend 20 years in jail. Well, uh, <clears throat> well, uh, do you suppose maybe, uh, if, uh... All right, Pete, you've got your old job back. Hey, hot dog, boy, I'm ready to go to work. And Corky, uh, don't forget to give JoJo some extra bananas. Okay, boss.